Around 1960, Percival Spencer developed a series of engine-powered mechanical birds. His design was the basis for most of the radio-controlled ornithopters we have today. One of the key features was a flexible brace to keep tension on the wing membrane. This was an influential design, but not really ideal because the brace interferes with the airfoil cross-section of the wing. The Spencer Seagulls also had a steeply angled tail which provided stability without the need for a vertical fin. But a real bird holds the tail straight back. We can do that too, but we have to move the balance point farther back, and that makes it less stable. Now in the crossbow, we've added a vertical fin to regain stability. It doesn't look like a bird, but it's more efficient than the Spencer design. The tail is contributing lift instead of pushing down on the model. A real bird has quick reflexes that allow it to fly with a lowered tail and no vertical fin. This bird tail version of the crossbow mimics the control system of a real bird. It has electronic stabilization on all three axes. A special tail mechanism provides yaw and pitch control. Two servos work together to raise and lower the tail. They work in opposite directions for the rudder function. The operator doesn't use the tail for steering. Only the gyro uses it to keep the bird stable in yaw. Like a real bird, the actual steering is done mainly with the wings. The original crossbow has ailerons, allowing it to fly without dihedral in the wings. The roll system on the cross bird allows it to do the same. No dihedral, like the lower tail position, makes it more like a real bird and more efficient in flight.